Jason Dodier, co-founder of the Grain Ecosystem. We're on a mission for a circular economy, transforming waste into value to bolster resilience and play a crucial role in the climate transition through solutions like biochar and composting. Beyond that, our initiatives bring significant biodiversity and communal benefits. Today, I'm honored to stand in support of the Lower East Side Ecology Center. With a remarkable 35 years of environmental leadership, the Ecology Center is at the forefront of pioneering urban ecology models. Their commitment involves advocating for fairway systems and cultivating inclusive spaces, all contributing to a greener and more just society. It's with great pride that I introduce my colleague and corporate sustainability leader, Heather Loebner, to delve deeper into the challenges we face at hand. Jason, thank you for that introduction. I appreciate your leadership in this space. As you mentioned, I'm a board member of the Lower East Side Ecology Center, and I know how fortunate New York City is to have them as an advocate and provider of community composting. Community composting is a critical service, not one that everyone thinks about, but that is really important to impacting New York City's climate goals. A matter of fact, food and yard waste make up one third of residential waste in New York City. That's about 10 million pounds of food waste and yard waste sent by New Yorkers to landfills and incinerators every single day. Organic waste is the city's third largest source of greenhouse gas emissions, and that produces about 20% of New York City's climate pollution as a whole. Globally, the United Nations Environmental Program, otherwise known as UNEP, said if food loss and waste were a country, it would be the third largest source of GHG emissions. It's a major contributor to the three planetary crises we face today. Climate change, nature and biodiversity loss, and pollution and waste. There is some good news. In New York City, composting has the potential to reduce food waste emissions by 84%. But the not so good news is that recently, you may be aware that New York City's mayor proposed and cut the budget on many critical services for residents. That included community composting. So today I ask you to consider taking two small but very important actions to support reduction of New York City's emissions and impacts on climate. The first is let your local public officials know that you don't want community composting cut. Ask the mayor to restore the budget. Write letters, call, just let your voice be heard. Second is I ask you to please consider making a donation to one of the city's oldest and most dedicated nonprofits providing community composting, the Lower East Side Ecology Center. We have a goal to raise 300,000 before the end of February. That would enable the Lower East Side Ecology Center to hire back an amazing community composting educator and ensure critical compost drop-offs and basic services are maintained. I've already made my donation and I hope you will consider making a donation as well. Truly any size is helpful, and it is with your help that we can ensure our environmental impacts are reduced, not increased. Thank you for your environmental stewardship and for your support of the Lower East Side Ecology Center.